the truth was worse than he could ever imagine. So they intentionally poisoned this kid? <gasps> I need to know what the truth is. Hey guys, it's Gabriella, and welcome back to another scary text message story. Today we are doing another episode of Reunion, which you have not seen the first episode, you can click right there and click on the I, or it's down below linked in that first comment. Oh my goodness, we need to figure out what is like going on. So many of you guys that were like, play the next episode, because there's this group of friends who when they were at prom, they did something that ended up with someone dying, and so now it's like 10 years later and they're going to like the school reunion, but like they're all like, like, oh, is our secret gonna come out? I don't know, so let's see what's gonna happen. Laurel just asked her high school crush out, or maybe they were dating, I think they were dating at the time, to coffee, and he said yes, but he doesn't know about whatever the thing is, so let's see what's gonna happen. <laughs> Laurel, Laurel couldn't believe he said yes. She could barely contain her excitement. She jumped up from her bed and barreled back into the living room. Annabeth, he said he'd meet me for coffee tomorrow. OMG, I'm so proud of you. I can't believe I'm gonna see him again so soon. Why did you guys break up again? We were going away to college. Another lie. <laughs> she had been the one to break it off because she'd felt so guilty after what had happened. She hadn't felt like she deserved him anymore. But now apparently he works here in the city. Like, I'm just like, well, what is this thing that happened? I am just so, like, confused. Like, was it a prank that went wrong? Or, like, were we bullying someone and then that went wrong? Like, I have no idea what is happening. Oh my god, this is fate. Maybe. Laurel tried to sound nonchalant, but she couldn't help grinning. For the first time in a long time, she felt like maybe things were lining up for her. For the first time in a long time, she felt like maybe there could be forgiveness. Next. From a distance, he looked exactly the same as the last time she'd seen him. He stood as she approached the table. She hugged him. He seemed so familiar. It sent her back in time to those drive-in movie summers and those picnics by the lake. She pulled away quickly. Wow, it is so crazy seeing you again. He sounded as nervous as she was, and she couldn't help but smile. You too. She took a seat at the table. I'm so glad we decided to do this. That you wanted to meet me. Me too. She could say anything besides two word replies. It's been so long, I honestly can't believe it. She's like, neither can I. <laughs> and oh, there was that dimple she loved so much. Well, how have you been? I've been okay, staying busy. I can't complain. How about you? I've been doing all right, busy as well, but that's being a lawyer in the city, I guess. They were both silent for a long moment. The reunion theme is what got you thinking about me again too, huh? <laughs> she swallowed past the lump forming in her throat. She nodded. It was weird for them to use that theme though, after what happened to that guy. Her heart jumped into her throat. Matt, his name was Matt Hinkle. Right, the kid Tiffany used to call Matt Stinkle. Poor kid. <laughs> Whoever made the king's punch would have known he had a serious strawberry allergy. What? <laughs> the memories came flooding back. You'd think so. She should have just told him the truth. She should have been with him all this time. Do you want to talk about why you left? She didn't, but she couldn't ignore it. Okay. Why did you? I was afraid. <laughs> I like the little effect there. Just like really hone in. Afraid of what? Afraid of the distance and don't lie to me this time, okay? Can you just tell me what was really going on with you? Like these people are like really like obsessed with like the past and they're like this like hardcore about something that happened 10 years ago. Like that would mean that they're all like 28 years old. <laughs> he took her hand gently across the table. I would never judge you. I was always there for you and I still am. If you'll let me be. She bit her lip. The truth was worse than he could ever imagine. So they intentionally poisoned this kid? Like what? I just like, I need all the pieces to this puzzle. But in that moment, she wanted to come clean to him. If she told him even parts of the truth, she might lose him forever because unlike Annabeth, he was there that night. But if she didn't, he would always know she was lying and she might just lose any chance she had then too. <gasps> We're gonna tell him the truth because I need to know what the truth is But also too, like if you if she truly wants to restart this relationship with him like she can't start it on lies Okay, that's just a horrible idea. Oh Gosh, what's the truth? <sighs> Laurel couldn't hide the truth any longer if I tell you the truth you have to swear you'll never tell anyone 
the night of the prom, what happened to Matt? Her breath caught in her throat. <laughs> what happened to Matt was our fault. He stared at her, sitting back in his chair. What? Every year, the prom king and queen had the first dance in the customary goblets of punch. He waited patiently, his brows knitting together. Tiffany knew that the chess team had run a campaign to get Matt elected king, which Tiffany hated because she didn't want him to be her king. And I... I knew he was allergic to strawberries. His eyes went wide. I didn't know how bad it was, and we barely put any in the punch! Damien gaped at her. He stood up slowly. Wait, please! <laughs> I have to go. He started walking away. Please don't tell anyone! He stopped dead in his tracks and turned to her quickly. He died, Laurel! Everyone thought it was an accident, but you guys poisoned him! It was an accident! She was crying. He looked at her, his face softening. I loved you, Laurel. I still do, I think. I always will. She looked at him, tears pouring down her cheeks. But this is bad! She nodded sadly. I don't know which is better now. Living in ignorance without you, or having a chance at this again, and having it stripped away by the truth. <laughs> he started to go again. I have to go. I have to think. But please! No one ever knew, did they? She shook her head. I wish I didn't. And with that, he left her there sitting alone at the table. Honestly? What the heck? <laughs> like, they literally killed him just because... Tiffany, this Tiffany character didn't want him to be his king. That is so mean. We're a group of bullies and because of our bullying, literally someone died. <laughs> Damien couldn't just leave it at that. He needed to know more. He needed to know Laurel wasn't a monster. Honestly, she is a monster. <laughs> Damien held the phone to his ear as it rang. He began doodling on a notepad as he waited. He never really liked Tiffany, but he'd been cordial with her. Now he needed to talk with her to find out more. Hello? The voice wasn't unlike Tiffany's voice, but she certainly sounded different than he remembered. Hello? Yes, sorry, is this Tiffany? Yes? Hey, this is Damien. Oh, hello. When I gave you my number, I didn't imagine you'd call. No one calls anymore unless it's a butt dial. I thought it would just be easier to call than message you. Wait, why, does, why did Tiffany give Damien his number? Wait, this is the right number. Yeah, this is the right one. Okay, what? Sure, what's going on? Well, I met with Laurel. Oh, did you? Is she coming to the reunion? I don't know, really. We didn't talk much about that. Oh, well, are you coming to the reunion? I don't know. I was just wondering. Yes? Well, you said that you knew that she was still interested in me. How did you know that? There was a sigh on the other end of the line. I didn't really, Damien. To be honest, I just knew neither of you really wanted that breakup. How would you know that? I just knew. She was weird after prom, after what happened. She mentioned something about that. There was a long pause. She told you, didn't she? <laughs> he didn't answer. Look, we made a mistake that night. We made a poor decision and it ended in tragedy. He held his breath. What do you want me to say, Damien? Did you call for a confession? I just want to know your side of the story. There's only one side. We made a mistake. We put strawberries in the punch. We didn't know it would kill him. <laughs> Literally, like no remorse. Like what is this? This honestly, this is so scary. He didn't know what to say to that. This is why Laurel had broken up with him, because she felt so guilty. We were dumb kids. Laurel wanted to go to the police, but it would have ruined our entire futures. Uh, yeah, that kind of happens when you kill someone. So you ended his? It was the biggest mistake any of us have ever made. Damien looked down at the doodle on his notepad. It was Laurel, her dark eyes staring out of the lined pages at him. She just casually drew her face. Her pen-lined eyes held sadness in them, just like her real eyes did. Hello? It's just hard to hear the truth, but I had to know. Just come to the reunion. Bring Laurel out of her shell again. I need to see her. I miss her too. Why do I feel like, like Tiffany is like luring everyone here to like kill everyone? Her voice was pleading. He stared down at his drawing. When Tiffany had first told him that Laurel was interested, he had been so excited. He had tried to contact her several times after she'd left and she'd ignored all of his efforts. But the idea of recreating that night with her sent excitement racing through him. Say you'll go. The truth was, he wanted to go. But knowing what he knew now, could he live with it? Go to the reunion and try to get out of it? What? Why am I in charge of all these decisions? I guess we have to go, right? Like, I mean, 
honestly, I feel like it's a ploy and everyone's like gonna end up dead, but you know what? Let's go to the reunion. Let's see what happens. <gasps> yes. Oh, thank you, Damien. It means so much to me. I'm not doing it for you. I'm doing it for Laurel. But she'll only come because you are, and that means the world to me. I'm dying to see everyone. She, she's dying to see everyone. I see what you did there, Tiffany. <gasps> I'm sure it will be good to see everyone again. Oh, it will. I truly believe that. Tiffany, why did you all want to pick on Michael so much? The line went silent for a long moment. Damien wondered if the line had dropped. Hello? His name was Matt. What? The boy that died. His name was Matt Hinkle. Her voice had gone much quieter. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. I was confused. She was silent. He took it as a sign to get off the phone. Well, anyway, look, thanks for talking with me. I guess I'll see you at the reunion. Don't tell anyone about what happened, Damien. She hung up before he could respond. He was so shocked by the whole goodbye that he didn't recognize the threat in Tiffany's voice. He didn't even realize she never answered his question. He stared down at the sketch he'd made of Laurel, and he thought about the new secret he held in his heart. Laurel was worth the wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, we'll stop here. I have no idea what is happening. These people are all crazy, and like, what is happening? Like, I... <laughs> I don't know. If you guys want to see me do the next episode, let me know down below in the comments and give this video a big thumbs up to see the next video. But until then, make sure you subscribe and have those notifications turned on so you know as soon as I post again. Until the next video, check out the awesome ones on the screen to keep yourself entertained, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!